Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> we are back with, I believe, episode 4. Let's play Chrono Cross. Let's do this. Um, yeah, last time I forgot to equip elements. Way to go me. So, um, yeah, I, um, I just want to show you what I did. I gave Potion Cure and two uplifts, I believe we gave her. Yep, uplift one and uplift plus two. Obviously, the higher it goes, it's in a plus. It's in a second level slot, so it gets plus two. And I gave Surge the also a cure on his first uh, slot. And I also gave him. He already had photon ray, but I gave him aqua beam on his second slot. So we should be way more prepared now. Unlike last time, that was really lame of me, and I'm sorry. Let's uh, keep going. So basically in this area you're going to want to fight everything you can. Um, there's a Komodo Dragon, there's a Beach Bum. You want to level up, you're going to have a boss fight at the end of all this, so... Let's uh, fight some things. I'll be editing out stuff you've already seen, so no worries. And we're back. Okay, let's move on. Now, see this guy? He's going to run away from you no matter what you do. So, I think we should try to sneak up on him. So, let's go this way. Alright. Whoop. Did I not say I was going to do that a million times? <laughs> sort of God's going to happen through this whole LP. We got this big dude in our way. Guess what? Yeah, I could have gone around him, but I didn't want to. So there. Alright, come to the end of this cliff. It's going to give you a little thing, X button to jump. Basically, you're going to want to press X when he's just about getting to you, because it's going to take a few seconds for you to drop. Nope. I missed. Oh, man. Nobody keep count of how many times that happens. I don't even want to know at this point gonna be a lot. And I know I've been cutting out the little, um, you know, the fights. I'll explain elements when we get a little farther. I mean, you probably already know how to do them, so I'm sure I don't need to explain much. Alright, let's try this again. This time with less failure. Ha! Gotcha, you little biatch. Actually, let's explain elements right now. You have to attack first because your element grid level is zero. means we can't pull anything up. So try to get some hits in so your bar goes up a little more. Now it surges at three. So you can go up to level three on his element grid. Let's do the same for a potion. Now she can take an element two. So let's do that. She has uplift in her second spot. And then we'll go back to zero, because she used the level two. And she only had two, so... You do the math. And Surge can also use an element. And he has one left. Pretty self-explanatory, I guess. I mean, it's not as complicated as people sometimes make it out to be. Like I said, I'm not the best at this. I just kind of do whatever works for me. But, um, yeah, I mean, you get the idea. And that's our second Komodo skill. We stored it away safely. Sweet. Here it is. Oh. You know what? Before we do that... <laughs> Before we do that, let's totally try to run up a wall. Before we do that, um... Let's go down here. Oh, right. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys. I'm gonna be so sick of this. Tablet. Alright. I can't remember if we can run up there. No, we cannot. 
One thing that it takes a lot of getting used to in this game is the kind of planes that everything are on. I run into everything. I don't know if it's just me, but... I know there's some more stuff around here we can get. Yeah, there's this right here. And I do suggest you fight everything around here and level up because, like I said... Alright, that means we're back. <laughs> God! Push this rock into the water. Don't get it stuck like I just did. This is... Oh my goodness, really? There we go. And <laughs> this takes forever <laughs> for it to come up. I'm just having one of those days, you know? It's because I think I'm coming down with something. Silver loop. I've like avoided getting sick all this winter now that like winter is slowly coming to an end. I feel like, um... Where am I going? I feel like I'm coming down with something. Which really sucks. Alright, let's just do this. I'm up to 13, but I'm gonna cut out all those random shit battles, so we should be alright. Hopefully we'll be alright. If not, I'm gonna have to do a crap ton of editing. So remember we saw the Komodo dragon kind of fussing around up here? He's gonna run the second he sees you. Run like hell and don't stop running. And you're gonna have to... Oh. I think we're going to have to circle this a few times to catch him. Come on, dude. Got him. So, here we go again. Same difference. However, this is the third scale. So, whatever you do, do not waste your elements on these two. Kill them with physical attacks, and you're going to see why in a minute. It'll take a little bit, but don't use elements. It behooves you. I love that word, by the way. Behooves. Behooves you not to do it. Oh, potion misses so many attacks. And now you're gonna see why. We have a boss fight. The Mama Komodo dragon, she's pissed because we're killing all her kids. She's blue element, so any red elements you have, you use against her to uh, put the field effect over in your favor. Now, whale on her with elements. That's basically what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use Aqua Beam, even though it's blue. That's pretty much all I've got. I think she's got about 160 HP, so it's not gonna be a difficult fight, especially if. Um, you leveled up a little before you got here. Like, if you killed all the beach bumps in the area, you're not gonna have too much trouble with her. But if you had to just use attacks on her, you might be in trouble, so that's why I suggested save your elements for this round. Oh, he would miss that fierce attack. Always happens. That's why I usually like to do two mediums and then a fierce. That usually works. Not always, but usually I can get lucky with it. I'm not sure how exactly it's generated. And the higher you get, obviously, the less likely you are going to miss, depending on what you're fighting. This is why I put two uplifts on her. Not only is she yellow and eight, so they're stronger with her, but... I mean, if you have two of the same, might as well just stack them. If you've got nothing else to put there. And she's dead. It was not that difficult. <laughs> Alright. Well done. And we received our first star, which is technically like a level up. We reached a new growth level. Sweet. HP 12, strength 1. HP 3... Press one, and we'll cure ourselves. We've got some fangs and the bones. All right, our third Komodo scale. Poshushu, we now have three Komodo fails. Oh gosh, Reth, get moving to a path of beach and wait for Lena. But we're not really gonna do that because we are gonna collect more items because that's the way I do things. So I think we have time to at least run out of here. I'm not too sure on that. Let's find out. 
You'd want to go to the left to get to La Pasta Beach, but I'm going to go back and collect some more stuff, and you're going to see why when I get there. Screw you, guy. And I'm going to stop it here, I think, because I'm not sure how much time I have with the things I have to edit out. So when we come back, we're going to do some more item hunting, and then we're going to meet Lena on the beach. So this has been Let's Play Chrono Cross. I'm Lucagen. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. See ya!